going on my name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE champions and another four-star gold forgotten gem video and we're continuing our ultimate maniac series here and so I got showboat macho man Randy Savage here and he's got the tassels flying I like people that I can flip their stuff around like this you know how we do it over here so see if we can get some uh, facing the wrong way or something here and nope it's all good for Randy. They all just fall straight down. I was going to see if I could get one, like, wrapped up around his head or something. Nope. Nobody better than Wendy Richter's cape, so just saying. All right, he only has the standard gear. Let's go ahead and have a look inside the poster and see he is the Yellow Gem Damage Trainer, and I use him on Vince McMahon a lot of the time because I got Vince strapped up, and he's got that choose yellow area move and so i use this to really beef that move up and look at all the links for savage here ultimate maniacs which is what we're doing matching blue gems charge moves of that color by three more move points and i know it still don't make sense but it will make sense in the last video when i do the tag links video we're gonna try to we're gonna try to make something happen with that out of two characters who aren't known for their blue moves millionaires club Receive 60% less damage from yellow gems. New World Order, black and white. Matching black gems charge moves to that color by one more move point. Wolfpack, gems do 15% more damage. WCW, any color moves start with one more move point. So he's got a lot of links, very versatile. And he's not bad, guys. He's not bad. Let's take a look at the first move set we're going to show. This is what I found to be optimal, not as fast. But definitely reliable and uh, it keeps your uh, health taken very low because you get a lot of protect gems here and low charge moves. So we got double red moves, snake eyes, five charge, deal 11,345 damage and destroy three random yellow gems. We got the pile driver, also five charge, deal 13,236 damage and choose four gems to make into protect gems of strength 3795 sidewalk slam yellow move eight charge deal 21,861 damage and make six random gems into protect gems of strength 2530 so let's take a look at the entourage for that we got ddp uh he is moves that destroy yellow gems will destroy four more yellow gems and i don't even have him to 5k so we're still destroying seven yellow if they're on the board that should be plenty and then we got Harlem Heat Booker T moves that generate protect gems will create three more. He's not quite 9k, so that could have been one more, but we got seven and nine on the two moves there. And we got X Pac on matching red gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. So on a five charge move, basically every time you match red on a turn, that's going to be full on the next turn. And then we also got Rikishi in case we get in a bind and we match yellow instead of red we'll be able to help fill that yellow one a little faster too so we are good to go out here with this move set and i don't think i'm gonna go against yokozuna yet that'll be painfully long i'm gonna go at him with the other uh with the finisher on the move set but we'll go down here and see if we can put seth rollins down i didn't pick on him with ultimate warrior but we're gonna see if macho man can beat him because this version of savage is a true forgotten gem and we're gonna see if he can get the job done against the measuring stick of hell mode currently Seth Rollins all right we got our red match perfect reds charged with no move point trainer for this set that's a huge thing for me I feel like you need a couple of guys with the low charge like this that for a feud or something else, you don't have to put a move point trainer on them. They just help round out a lineup really nicely. Okay, let's choose the protect first just in case this cascades and pins him. I always like to use the loot boxes because they're the hardest for them to break. 
and then find that one color gem sticking out like a sore thumb in an area. I uh, don't want to put it on a yellow though because yellow is going to get broke. All right, now we can destroy seven random yellow. Problem is Rollins is going to wipe the board a lot. I got a lot of protect gems, but when he chooses his area, he's going to do some damage on that. Now, I did get red there. You'll see I got four there, so next turn it's going to be ready already. Ready already! I mean, it didn't save me too much there. Holy Moses. Ooh, that's not going to get it done. Trying to look and see if I could do it without breaking any of the protect gems. But I can't. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put some more protect down. Try and... Oh, he dodged it. Are you actually kidding me right now? Well, looks like we're just destroying yellow. Oh, unbelievable. I'm like super salty about that. <laughs> that was not a good time for that to happen. Not a good time for that to happen. We're trying to make a preview video here. We're trying to pump up the macho man. And you're hitting me with that. I don't even think we're kicking out of this one. That's a big one. Oh my. 108. Oh, we got it. We got it. We're straight. I wasn't even worried. I wasn't even worried. I knew we'd kick right out. All right. Nine random protect. I guess Rollins wasn't the best opponent for this. trying to spread them out a little bit destroy seven random yellow so we are going to lose some of them here but we need to destroy the yellow while we can oh right there is where we need a red match it would have been beautiful Well, he's definitely doing a good job of holding down some of that damage there. 22k wasn't bad for that. One damage on that one. So there it did come into play pretty nicely. Mm. I know I see that five break, but I want those reds to stay put up there because I need to break red. Gotta be able to break red. It's a slugfest here, but Macho's staying right in there with him. And I'd say we've had the worst luck in this match of all time, like... We didn't have a great start, we've not gotten red in that key situation where we needed it. We got dodged on this move the last time we tried to hit it in a real critical situation.
Seven yellow. Oh, that breaks red. Beautiful. We'll go more protect gems on the board. And we finally get a turn that Rollins is not charged up. I'm going to leave the most protect gems out as I can. Look at that. Come on. Yes. That's what you can do to somebody right there. He couldn't kick out of 8,000 because of all the protect gems. So that was pretty fun. In a slugfest against one of the biggest sluggers right there. Against somebody who's going to do consistent moves there. He went move for move with Seth Rollins and stayed with him. We could probably do a little better with that move set against somebody else. I forgot that he was going to, you know, choose all that area and blow up all my stuff there. Let's take the same move set against Jeff Hardy here. Jeff's not blowing up giant areas like that at a time. So we'll see. And he's also somebody that's going to cycle moves really fast. And we'll see how hard we can hold him down with this move set like that. This probably, I was thinking about it, you know, that first move set through there. Like, man, Hardy would have been a great choice for this. So we did get red on turn one. Oh, he dodges it. I'm so done with dodges right now. We went through the whole warrior video and didn't have a single thing dodged. Unbelievable. There, thank you. They made up for it. As long as I can get my red in there. I needed my moves to go before his for sure. So don't put him on green and blue because that's what he's going to be breaking. And don't put him on yellow because that's what I'm going to be breaking. Black gems are going to be perfect there. We'll just put a little mixture out. Destroy seven random yellow here. And we are on a class disadvantage here. So remember that Hardy should be able to easily handle Macho Man with the class advantage, right? Look at that. Disgusting, he didn't even kick out at one. So as long as we stay away from green and blue, it's going to take a lucky cascade for him to do anything to us as far as wiping our protect gems. Not bad, let's go ahead and get those multiplies off of our board. Nine random protect gems. Now he's about to start getting into trouble here. Let's go seven more to protect. And let's get our yellows. So this move is basically your finisher, and it might not finish them. 67k, can he kick out? Oh, look at that. Come on. Boom. Come on. Oh, he almost stayed down. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. But still, he's going to do this for one damage. Oh, no, he got 619. I need to get some more on the board here. Mm. Didn't want to have to do that. Nine random protect. Now I got no yellow and no red, so this is where you can get in a bad spot. I got a lot of protect down right now. I don't think this is going to hurt too much. 21,000 base. So he added one damage on there. 21,400. Not bad. Let's get his blue off of the board. 
I was really hoping that would drop something down to let me break red there. So he is board dependent here. If you don't get red, you will be in trouble. So I'm just relying on my protect gems to carry me through this. Because he's going to keep hitting his moves, but I've got twice the health he's got at this point. So I can afford to slug it out a little bit because he's not doing the big damage. 13,000 on that move. He should have been looking at a lot more. Oh, he got lucky there. He did get in a good spot there. Okay, now I got to get these reds pushed into position here somehow. What do we got to do here? Break those down to there. Now I just got to kick out. Alright, we got red finally. Would have been nice if I would have got that red match right off of that earlier. They'd be in... I wouldn't have taken any of this damage. Dumb. All right, we're straight out. We should have control back now. Let's get it under control. All right, we'll break the yellow. Oh, look at that. He might be in... I got the pin meter pushed here, so... We did get a red match, too. Let's see if he can even kick out of that. 7,600. He needs a cascade to get out. Oh, it still wasn't even enough. So, there you go. You can catch people sleeping with that if you get enough protects down and they can't get a cascade there. So, that move set definitely effective. Two for two there against Rollins and Hardy. Now we'll, uh, we're going to swap out. We're going to put his finisher in. And we're going to go up against Yokozuna. And I'm coming for that revenge, all right? The 93 Rumble, okay? It was down to Macho Man and Yokozuna. And I was a little kid, and I really wanted Macho Man to win, all right? And when, he, when Yokozuna threw him out at the end, it was like, what are you doing, Randy? He hits the elbow drop in the Royal Rumble and then goes for the pin. Like, come on, man. I thought Savage was supposed to be smart. But when you're going to bring the finisher in, bring your built-in-a-day props with you, and I'm going to show you why. So we are going to swap the finisher in. And there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to put it up here. I mean, there's no real way for me to get to it like this, but, I mean, you could do... You could do the big damage if you can get all those protect gems on the board by the time you get to your finisher. We're looking at uh, trying to put them down with like the biggest shot that we can here, I suppose. So we're going to take DDP off of here. And we're going to put Harlem... It's Harlem... No, it's ABA. Protect gems do 30% more damage. And it's going to be a slow board. I want to go against Yokozuna because he also makes protect gems. I know he has a submission. And it's probably going to get pretty annoying in here. And I don't know if I can get this right. You might see this cutaway here. If I have to do this match a couple times, I might have a little cutaway right here. And uh, until I get to a point where it'll work right. Alright, look at that. That's a beautiful start for this. We needed a bunch of yellow early. We don't want to get too far behind him. Now we're really going to need a red match too. Ooh, we got it too. We got it. What does he got ready? Black into yellow. He's 10 charge there. I 
I need him to put his protect gems out at least. Give me a yellow match on this turn and we'd be golden. I should have brought a prop just in case. How many turns do I need? Two? And he didn't get it, so... Drop yellow. It's fine. We're going to get it. We're going to get it anyways, because he doesn't have yellow to break. So he's not going to beat me to... He's not going to get his sub off before I get my finisher off. I'm just waiting because... I definitely just want to hit all of this at one time. Alright, watch this. So, our finisher does 2330 bonus damage for every protect gem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, add a 0 to that. And Yokozuna is going to do 23,000 damage to himself right now for having those on the board. Unless mine cover his. Uh, so, we're going to get random gems into protect gems here i realize this was a best case scenario setup here choose seven gems to make into protect gems so we're gonna start filling in some more here and then remember i told you bring your built in a daze all right these props don't do you any good at high levels only for trickery like this but I'm gonna show you some trickery let's see how many we can get down here let's fill the board we're putting as many as we can out they may cover his too which is fine we're not gonna get the board full but how many are we missing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we're only missing 11 gems on the board. That's a lot of protect. Let's see what we can do here. This is the like the main event here. This is what people wanted to see with Macho. How hard can you hit at four-star gold with all those protect gems down? And I got as many as I can. And we're going against a showboat, so I feel like this better put him down. Uh, remember, he's got... Sometimes I can't get the math right away. I really want to get the math on this one. I'm going to pull my calculator out. We're going to put his health in here. 420, 920. Well, I guess it's not going to be more than that. So we'll see what his kickout damage is. 94K, that's all we could do. But there's no way with all them protect gems down that he's going to be able to kick out of that. So that's what you can do. You don't have to use those props. It still would have been enough to hold down Yokozuna there. So if you're going against another Protect Gem guy, that's your secret ace weapon right there with Savage. If you got a Protect Gem guy that you got to beat for something, use that guy right there. There's one more way you can run it here. We'll do another quick one. We'll leave the finisher in. And we'll not use a bunch of props. We'll do the same match. And we'll put the other red move back in. We're not going to look at the blue moves today. We're going to look at those in the Ultimate Maniacs video. Because that's where I'm going to have to try to make them work. So we can do the two low charge red moves here. And then use the finisher instead. And we will have a way to fill the finisher now. So we're going to have to do it multiple times. Hopefully... Uh, we'll see if we can stun him and put him down early on the first one. Anybody that has real kickout damage, though, this trick's not going to work against them. It's only going to work against showboats and especially against people who are going to have their own protect gems down to help you out on your bonus damage. Well, I didn't get a red match. That would have been ideal. We'll take the yellow when we can get it there. Oh, that's a lot. Dang, finisher's charged. We got nothing to go with it. Please leave the red on the board for me, Yoko. Okay, I can't really hit that yet. I need the red first. I don't want to hit my finisher with no protect gems. Well, 
We'll see what happens out of this. I can't let him get his bear hog off. Oh, he's going to put the Protect Gems down on the same turn, so I don't even got to wait. Like, who's ever been happy about the AI getting a wild card and loading the board with Protect Gems on him? Sounds so dumb. We got to do something now, because he's got his bear hug ready. Oh, can we... Is he going to stun us here? Don't even tell me that. Okay, Blue's getting us out. Alright, we're just going to choose 7 Protect here. And we're going to go ahead and hit our finisher now. We're not going to use any props or any trickery. I just wanted to load one up there and show you like a max potential. Uh, see what we do on this regular one against him. 38k. He got a good cascade. He's definitely out. But I do have the other red move charged now. So I can break a bunch of yellow. Well, I guess I did have it charged. I need to come out of this with a red break on the board. So my mission here would be to leave myself a red break on the board at the end of it. Or bare minimum yellow, but uh, there, red set in the bottom now. So now we just stay away from that. Well, I'll do that and leave that protect gem down for some bonus damage. do that let's go ahead and destroy yellow gems oh we don't have ddp back on there i did i not change my train who's my other trainer right now oh yeah i needed kind of both of them to load that finisher up anyways i guess ddp might have been better than the bonus damage for the finisher but really as long as you can break red you're going to keep breaking three more yellow every turn so Every time you break red, you're going to get the move points for both colors, if you think about it. So I still think I got the best possible on... Oh, of course. And then he's going to drain me again. Submission guys are annoying. You could definitely take Rikishi off of this move set and roll with Brutus Beefcake. Oh, stop. I was going to be out. Oh, I am out. Incredibly slow matches with him, though, guys. Incredibly slow matches. That's my big takeaway. I like speed. This isn't very fast. It can be fun, but that first move set was definitely the best. Nobody's got time to run this match right here. But I definitely wanted to show because somebody was going to ask me to see it for sure. Oh, still nothing. And then one thing I'd look at here is trying to take black gems off the board because I know that's what he's going to turn to yellow with his move. I can't break black even or nothing. I have to hope that he doesn't fill his finisher right here. Oh, am I even going to be able to kick out of this? I kind of let myself fall into this trap. Blue is strong, yeah. Alright, let's just destroy the three yellow before our random ends up on it. You don't have to be as worried with this move set on that cascade. 
I almost did it while I'm talking about it too. So we're gonna choose seven more now. And hit this finisher here. We got a lot on the board again. We'll see what happens. Forty seven, can he kick out? Nope. Got him. Got him with the trickery again. So Savage goes undefeated. And that wasn't the best of move sets right there. But like I said, we're gonna get into the blue moves in the Ultimate Maniacs tag links video. So be on the lookout for that. It's coming. And until next time, guys. Peace. If you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath. And hey, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content.